my family, William and Kim Milton's supposed fans have done something that is so, so low and just so, so disgusting. That a human being just will not do. However, a racist would do what they have done. My family, here's what they have done. William and Kimilton supposed fans have attacked a bike shop, the Mad Dogs and Englishmen bike shop, for gifting a four-year-old a bike for his fourth birthday. My family, apparently, racist William and Kimilton's fans have a problem with a four-year-old biracial child of Harry Megan being gifted a bike for his birthday. My family, it's not a donation. It's a gift. It's not a donation. It's a gift. A gift. My family. And my family, yet they have no problem with Prince George, William, and Kate's son. Back in 2015, being given up to 706 gifts, 706 gifts from abroad. They have no problem with that. However, they do have a problem with Harry and Meghan's by Rachel's son being gifted one gift, a bike for his birthday, for his fourth birthday. My family is disgusting. It's disgusting what William and Kimilton's racist fans keep on doing time and time again. They keep showing the entire world of exactly just who they are. So full of hate deep inside of them. That they even target children. That they even target charities. My family, don't forget. The World Child Charity Awards. You know? In which Harry is a patron. A charity that makes it possible for children and young people with serious and complex health needs to be cared for at home had to close off its comment section because of so-called royalists we call them derangers or racist William and Kate fans going there to spew their abuse on a charity supporting children who have complex health needs like the Well Child Charity in which Harry is a patron. My family is despicable how low William and Kate's supposed fans continue to behave. The world is watching. The world is watching them and seeing exactly just who they are, my family. And once again, it's a reminder of where we are at right now. Which battle we are fighting. As Harry and Meghan fans seeking to end this hate campaign. To stop this hate campaign against Harry and Meghan. My family, even the owners of Mad Dog's bike shop themselves, my family have seen exactly the hate themselves Harry and Meghan receive. And they themselves are sympathizing with Harry and Meghan. More eyes continue to be opened to what Harry and Meghan have truly experienced. The hate and the racism on the farm and the UK tabloids. My family, and my family, I want to read you already what has been reported.
my family. My family, please kindly just please hear this. Reported by Hello Magazine. Prince Archie's birthday gift inspires a sweet act of kindness from British shop owners. Written by Rebecca Lewis, a reporter from Los Angeles. Now she said, be kind. That's the vibe for Montecito based bike shop Mad Dogs and Englishmen who will be giving away one free bike after gifting the Duke and Duchess of Sussex son, Prince Archie, a bike for his fourth birthday. It was a gift, not a donation. And the company took to Instagram on June 10th to share the news of the giveaway with fans and said that they want to take away all the hostility and anger that has come their way in the two days since they revealed their kind gesture. My family, the owners of Mad Dogs and Englishmen Bike Shop were just being kind to Megan and Archie. They gave Megan flowers and they gifted Archie a bike. And because of that, my family, you have haters, trolls, who went under the Instagram post. And they proceeded to spew hateful, vile comments about Archie, about Megan, and even about the owners of Mad Dogs and Englishmen Bike Shop. Just because they showed kindness to Megan and Archie. You know, what a way to show the entire world and prove what Harry and Megan have been saying about the hate campaign that UK media have waged against them. My family, even Harry, in his witness statement, has said, my family, in his court case, that my family, the UK tablets, are the mothership of online trolling. Trolls react to the stories that they read from the tabloids. And my family, right now, upon being told that Harry was gifted a bike, my family, sadly, a child has been attacked. A bi-racial child has been attacked for being gifted a bike for his birthday. A gift, a gift. My family, I never complained when William and Kate's son got up to 706 gifts from abroad back in 2014, my family, when they went on a tour. William and Kate's son, Prince George, received 706 gifts from abroad. From abroad. 706 gifts, not one bike. 706 gifts, not one gift, 706 gifts with William and Kim Luther being taxpayer funded. My family, taxpayer funded, fully taxpayer funded. And my family, listen, I don't blame anyone who wants to give a child a gift. Gift, a child a gift, it's the kind thing to do. It's nice doing that. My family, I do have a problem, however, that it's okay for William and Kate's white son, Prince George, to be gifted 706 gifts with not a single complaint from anyone. But it's not okay 
for Archie, a biracial child of Harry Megan, to be gifted one gift, a bike. From just a well wisher, from someone just being kind, that's all they were doing, being kind. That now they have to close off their comment section because of the hate they're receiving. What a way to prove Harry and Meghan's point. What a way to prove Harry and Meghan right about this hate campaign. Yet, UK media always say that Harry and Meghan are playing the victims. Well, look at what's happened right now. Clearly, Harry and Meghan are the victims. Victims of a hate campaign. Spearheaded by the UK tabloid press. Even children are targeted. Children, children, innocent children are targeted. My family, only racists would do what Kate Milton and William fans do. My family, every single day, my family, we keep seeing how William and Kate's, especially Kate Milton's charity, my family, keep on collapsing for lack of fans. Mostly, it's Kate's charities collapsing due to lack of fans. And because their so-called fans who are supposed to be the ones who support these charities of royals they claim to like or admire or support, you know, Kate and William, instead of doing that, they're more focused on attacking Mad, Mad Dog's bike shop or because they've shown kindness to a four-year-old. They're more focused on attacking or trolling Harry Megan than supporting the charities which came within the pattern of that are collapsing due to a lack of fans. My family. Priorities. Priorities, my family. William and Kate's supposed fans clearly are lacking in priorities. You know? And my family, they are a reflection of who they support. William and Kimilton stand for bad things. Not good things. They stand for bad things. Evil things. That's what they stand for. With how poorly they have treated Harry and Meghan. They stand for bad things, my family. Harry and Meghan stand for good. Us, the Sussex Squad family, we are a reflection of who Harry and Meghan are and what they do. Donate to charities. That's what we do. That's what Harry and Meghan do, my family. But look at Kimilton and William's supposed fans. They just stand there and watch as Kate's charity collapses due to lack of fans and they do nothing. The one thing they are fully invested in is attacking Harry and Meghan. My family. My family, we stand for good. Racist Kate and William fans stand for evil. And my family, I believe good, will always triumph over evil. And clearly, that's the message the owners of Mad Dogs and Englishmen are also sending. My family, now here is what they said. And I quote, There were some people frustrated that we give a bike to someone of privilege, and I thought this is an easy fix. Said shop owner Jennifer Blevins. We donate bikes all the time, usually around Christmas. And it's had overwhelming support. And now people are also buying our apparel or are emailing us saying they want to donate a gift to donate for a gift card to give away with the bike for the charity. 
the company is now gifting a Banwood Bikes bike currently on display in the Carmel, California shop. And to qualify, you must demonstrate financial need and be a local in one of the communities where our four shops are located. If you are an existing customer of ours or a friend of the shop, you are already aware of our philanthropic commitment to our local communities. We do what we can, when we can. Always have, always will. The post read. Before sharing, the followers can recommend someone in need. And if they are chosen, we can surprise them with this special gift. And the giveaway will be Saturday, June 17th. And then they say this. If you post anything negative or inappropriate, we will delete it and or shut down comments. So please refrain. Our business thrives on kindness and positive engagement with our followers and the communities we serve. They concluded. My family. And this is sadly what we have been seeing other charities do. Whenever Harry makes a video supporting the well child children, the charity is attacked. Children can view those comments, my family, that they have to shut down their comments on videos where, you know, Harry makes an appearance to cheer up children. And now this, now this, my family, William and Kate supposed fans, stop the hate, stop the negativity, stop being racist, be kind. If you're a Kate fan, support her charities that are collapsing due to lack of funds. Do that. But what you are doing right now is just so disgusting. You know, that even a bike shop in Montecito can see exactly just what Harry and Meghan have been talking about, about the hate campaign. That is so unhinged. You know? My family... So, so wrong. It's so, so wrong. It's so wrong. You know, I'm disappointed every single time when I see this. I'm hurt every time when I see this, my family. People who do kind things being targeted because UK tablets have brainwashed the readers to hate on Megan. My family, I have never ever attacked a charity that K. Milton supports. My family have never done that. I've called out K. Milton for hypocrisy, but I've never ever targeted children. I've never gone to a charity in its comment section where kids must be reading it to attack children, to attack charities. My family. You have to be lower than low to attack a charity that supports children. My family, it's just disgusting. Disgusting what William and Kate fans keep on doing. And they're embarrassing Kim Milton and William time and time again. You know, my family, it's so sad to see this. So sad. My family, here is what is also being reported. The negative comments began after Mad Dogs and Englishman Shop shared a letter that they had received from Harry and Meghan thanking them for their thoughtful gift. And they said at the time, we hope they don't mind us sharing this lovely thank you letter we received today. The company captioned the post, which featured the letter. Of course, 
we are going to put the letter in a frame on the wall. I'm going to make photocopies and put them in a frame in every store, Jennifer said. Adding that, but I am the business owner and I was just so excited because I'm huge fans of the entire family. I'm not a hater of any of them. I love them all. And I love that Harry and Meghan are in Montecito, where we have a shop. So it's just fun. But Jennifer also shared the heartache that she has faced the last 48 hours after internet trolls bombarded their social media pages with hate. Something that has become so common for William and Kate's supposed fans who normally clearly are spotted doing this, my family. You know? And my family, Harry, was right. British media are the mothership of trolls. You know? Harry was right, my family. Harry was 100% right in what he said. My family, Harry was right in what he said and his words have been proven to be true each and every single passing day that Harry clearly has been telling the truth. My family, things need to change. And truly, UK tablets bring out the worst in people. The worst in people. They make people even go and target charities. You know, even attack innocent kids. It's disgusting what they do. And it's just so wrong, my family. Just so wrong, my family. What they normally do. And I'm disgusted with what the tablets have done. And what these trolls do, my family. I am very much disgusted with their actions, my family. And something needs to change, my family. Something needs to change, my family. You know, my family, Harry said in his court statements, people in the UK are being brainwashed by the tablet press, my family. You know, people die as a result of trolling. And the tablet press are the mothership of online trolling. Trolls react and mobilize to stories that they create. Not the other way around. Though plenty of headlines are knowingly created from troll accounts while giving the impression that this is what the UK public think and feel. Harry perfectly describes what happens. Caroline Flack lost her life because of trolling from the UK media and also online trolls. My family there needs to be change. This can't keep happening. Charities supporting children can't be targeted. Where are the morals? Where is, what happened to kindness in this world, my family? What happened to, to kindness? You know, whenever I see things like this, evil things like this, my family, I am reminded of one thing. The battle between good and evil will continue until the end of time. However, good, kindness will always triumph over hate. Love will always win. My family, but what happens to people who support Harry Meghan, who are targeted, abused, trolled? My family, it hurts me personally. It hurts me personally, my family. And I'm sorry to Jennifer. The owner, you know, of Mad Dog's Bike Shop, who has shared the heartache she has faced the last 48 hours after trolls bombarded the show media pages with hate. And Jennifer, I want you to hear what she said. Her words, and I quote, This has woken me up. To understanding the pain they must have felt. You know? 
And my family, you know what? I'm happy that she can see that indeed her make it a right of the pain they've experienced and gone through because of trolling, hate campaign, intimidation, abuse from the UK media. More people are opening their eyes and more people are sharing what it's like. You know? Tell the entire world what Harry and Megan have been through. Tell the entire world. You know? My family. And Jennifer said, and I quote, I've never really felt a lot of empathy for anybody that I consider privileged or very wealthy or very famous. You've been blessed and this is part of the trade-off. But I have a completely different perspective on that now. My family, first of all, let me just say this. Regardless of, of if someone is rich, privileged or not, my family, everyone deserves to be treated with kindness. That's what everyone deserves. My family. No one should say that, hey, look, it's a trade-off. Because you're rich and famous, you know, just take their tax, take their abuse. No one should ever have that in their minds. Regardless of whether you have money or not, you have a right to be treated with basic human dignity. And first of all, Harry and Meghan were wealthy, privileged, have not, they not, do not deserve this hit campaign that has been waged against them by the UK tablets and the farm and William, by William, Kim Hilton, Charles and Camilla. Harry and Meghan don't deserve this. They don't deserve this hate campaign. All they've done is good. That's what they continue even to do. Despite, even after stepping back as senior members of the royal family, Harry and Meghan continue to do good. To help others, my family. As a matter of fact, Harry and Meghan have done so much more for people than William and Kim Hilton, who are taxpayer funded. Than William, who makes up to 20 million pounds a year from the Duchy of Cornwall, his money. Harry and Meghan have done so much more than William and Kim Hilton. Make no mistake about that, my family. And my family, and they are not even taxpayer funded. Harry and Meghan are not even taxpayer funded. And despite that, they are helping out communities from Texas, my family, like building a playground for children in Uvalde, like building a community kitchen in partnership with Wild Central Kitchen. Harry and Meghan are doing good, helping others, my family, and may God bless them for what they're doing. Good deeds. That's what we need in this world. More goodness, more kindness, humanity. We need that in this world, my family. Not hate. We need kindness, goodness. For my family, I'm just so angry that even Harry and Meghan kids are being targeted by trolls. Exactly what Harry said. Once again, they're proving Harry and Meghan right. What Harry said in the first episode of the Harry and Meghan documentary, where Harry said, and I quote, hate was being stirred up against my wife and my son. They are proving him right. And my family, these trolls and the carnival, also called experts, that have been waging this mere campaign and hate campaign against Harry and Meghan, have been calling Harry and Meghan liars. But my family, instead of proving that Harry and Meghan are liars. They are proving that Harry and Meghan are telling the truth. Time and time again. By their own actions. By the actions of the trolls. Like even trolling a child. Just because he got a gift on his fourth birthday. A gift. Not a donation. A gift. A gift. A gift. 
a gift. The owner of Mad Dogs wanted to do something nice. She went to her and Megan's home. At the gate, security asked them if they had an appointment. They said, no. I just wanted to give these flowers to Megan and this bike to Archie for his fourth birthday. That's what he did, my family. Harry and Megan, Megan did not even ask for the gift. The owner of Mad Dogs and Englishman Bikes gifted, went there to Harry and Megan's home and left the gifts at Harry and Megan's gate to security. That is what he did. My family, and yet trolls who say that they're supporters of the royal family, royalists, my family, we call them the rangers, attacking, are attacking that bike shop in Montecito for just being kind. Showing kindness to Megan, showing kindness to Archie, it's disgusting, you know? And Kate and William's fans are a reflection of exactly who they support. My family, you know, how can anyone just have that much hate instead of them, you know? How can anyone live with so much hate deep instead of them, my family? Please, be kind, do good. Don't have hate inside here of your heart. Don't have hate inside of your heart. Do good, be good. It's much easier to be good. It's much easier to do good. Do good. Not evil. That's what they need to do. Do good. My family. You know? And my family. Here's what Jennifer also said my family. And I quote. I feel everything that comes at me. Positive and negative. And I try to live a very positive life. Exactly. And I feel so much of this toxic stuff on such a deep level, just as I feel. And I feel so bad now for anyone in any role. No one deserves that kind of treatment. Exactly. Exactly. And if anyone wonders why Harry and Meghan left, look no further to what Jennifer said. No one deserves this kind of treatment. No one deserves this kind of hate. No one. My family. And no one who dishes this hate campaign, this hate towards Harimekan, would ever handle a fraction of what they dish out to Harimekan. No one. My family. No one. Make no mistake whatsoever about that, my family. So my family, I'm disappointed. I'm sad, really, about, you know, what's happened. However, I'm thankful that the owners of Mad Dogs and Englishmen bikes are doing something positive. You know? Choosing love over hate. You know? Archie's birthday gift inspires a sweet act of kindness from British shop owners. My family, that's what Harry, Meghan, and even their kids inspire. Act of kindness and love. Choose love over hate. Choose good over evil. Hate never wins, love wins. Stop being hateful. Stop being hateful on social media. Do good, do good. It's much easier just doing good. My family, and with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video, my family. Love you, always and forever, my family. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Lipeton, and Dorian Legland, and all of you, members of the squad at home. Hate never wins, love wins, my family. And stay tuned to our next video, my family. And God bless you all, my family. I love you all with all my heart. From the bottom of my heart, my family. I love you all with all my heart. 100% my family. And I'm happy that, you know, Mad Dog, Mad Dog's Bike Shop are having this bike giveaway. Nice, nice, nice. In honor of, you know, Archie. This is sweet, my family. This is sweet. And that is what Harry Megan inspire goodness
kindness, compassion towards others. That is what Harry and Meghan stand for. Goodness. My family, I choose goodness. Kindness. Love over hate. Always and forever. And each and every single one of us choose, to choose love over hate. And just by being here, you have chosen love over hate. And my family, I applaud all of you. My family, stay tuned to one of you, my family. Love you always and forever. And God bless you all. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Liberty, and Endo, and all of you, members of the squad at home. He never wins, love wins. And stay tuned to our next video. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.